In this lesson, I want to discuss the sodium-potassium ATPase pump, a protein that uh, is an active transporter. So we want to write this guy out, sodium-potassium ATPase pump. Now, sodium-potassium ATPase pump, this should tell us quite a bit. Sodium and potassium, of course. ATPase, it requires ATP to drive it, and it's a pump. So this tells us quite a bit about this guy. So let's begin looking at the sodium-potassium ATPase pump, and I begin with the cell membrane. Now let me draw the cell membrane in here. And here we have some phosphate heads and fatty acid tails. Now remember, this is a membrane. It is a double membrane, so here's my other fatty acid tails. And here's my other phosphate heads. Now remember the fatty acid tails have in them, uh, they are nonpolar covalent bonds, uh, and the uh, phosphate heads have polar covalent bonds in them. Now I'm going to draw the sodium potassium ATPase pump here. Then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to draw the rest of my cell membranes. But I want you guys to have an idea that this is a fully integrated protein. It is fully integrated into my cell membrane. Now the sodium potassium ATPase pump binds to, and I'm going to write in here a couple other words. We have the ICF and the ECF. And the sodium potassium ATPase pump will do some really interesting things. Now I'm going to start off with in red. I'm going to have ATP coming in. Now from the ECF, ATP will be applied. When ATP is applied, we have ADP plus inorganic phosphate. And that will drive this pump to do one thing. It will bring in two K pluses into a cell and pump out three Na pluses. And this will generate a transmembrane potential that's pretty distinctive. The ICF, because of this, gets a little negative, and the ECF a little positive because it brings out more positive cations than it brings in. So this pump will drive a lot of processes in the cell. But this is just in case you guys get stuck on sodium potassium ATPase pumps. This is a pretty simple little understanding of how this guy works, but critically important for so much of what happens in muscles, neurons, and glands. And this concludes my video on sodium potassium ATPase.